Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back. So I was gonna skip day today, but um, I decided not to. I mean, you know, if I if I if I have the time, I definitely should make a video. Um, you know, sometimes sometimes I really don't have anything all that interesting to talk about, but I I think. It's still nice that if I if I um, can make a video and just talk to you guys, you know, about just some random stuff, what I'm doing in the game, um, you know, give you guys an update and stuff. So um, I spent just basically yesterday farming up and getting my Dark Miho to to max level, also max out her gems. It actually did cost quite a lot. I had really really horrible luck upgrading these two gems. It took like 50 tries each or something like that. It was pretty crazy. Um, but I, I at least got them to to max level, and they're they're pretty decent gems. They're not the best. Um, this one's pretty damn good, but uh, that this one isn't isn't really all that good. And this one's already maxed out. This one this one's one of my better gems as well. Um, yeah, so I'm pretty much looking for looking towards uh, getting another monster to 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 six stars. Uh, there's quite a few candidates. I don't think I'll be able to. Actually, maybe. No, I don't really need her. She doesn't even have a square slot. Um, if I had enough Julys to like make this July Evil Three, I would definitely do it. Um, it would be really beneficial for me to get a second July, like um, one that I can make Evil Three, and. I should just give like that July the, these gems. If I could get a July to Evil Three, I would actually give that July these gems. And um, she's gonna be like a semi, semi aggressor nuker type of thing. Um, I have quite a few tigers. It's pretty crazy. Uh, anyways, I I'm looking towards six starring another monster. I'm not really too sure what I should six star. And also, I'm not too sure if I should try to like you know, you know if I should try hard and try to try to get um, that late Medusa. Like if I think maybe on the last day, if I still don't have her, I might I might um, feed all my Medusas away in an, in an attempt to try to get her. And also, um, there I think there's actually one more day that you're you can get the the Medusa before the the um, the Venus event. So so you. You're not affected by, by, by this uh, getting this light, and you're guaranteed to basically get one of these two. I'm not a hundred percent sure about this, but in theory, that's what should happen. So um, on my twentieth summon, I definitely do want to wait and not, not do my rebirth. I mean, my twentieth rebirth, um, and then hopefully I can get one of these two. And um, yeah, I, but before that, I definitely need to, need to, uh, need to grab this Venus. Wait, you can take Sirens, fuse them with these with a slime and turn it into a a bond. It's pretty interesting. Wait, you can you can do that? I I, I didn't know about that, but I, I guess it doesn't really matter for me. Um I almost have enough. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, uh yes, eleven. So I basically just need four more, and then I'll I'll have my my evil two Venus, and that's all I really need. I'm not too um, new, not too focused on trying to get her to evil three. But uh, the the other thing I wanted to do is that actually I want to six star one of my monsters, so I at least have something to farm with, because I I do need a few more Julys, and also I need to capture some monsters for my uh, for fusion material. But I'm not too sure which monsters I should raise. I don't think any of these are really going to help me in in uh, in dragons or anything like that. Um, maybe I'll evil three a, a monster that I can get to get to um, you know I, I can get to evil like close to evil three or like at least get to evil two and possibly use. But then then again I do have quite a lot of monsters that I'm not really using. Maybe a full tank monster because I I have a lot of like random tank gems I can. I can give them, but I, I don't have a lot of attack gens. Um, oh yeah, someone mentioned in a comment when, when I was talking about a hundred percent stun for, for Dragon Speed Ten. One of the reasons why I didn't mention Water Sura was because his base attack is really, really low. Like his skill set is hundred percent perfect. Like this is just so good. His 
His second skill is single target. It has Predator. It's 100% stun, even two turns. He also has Crit Leader if you can get him as a variant. Like it's his skill set wise, he has everything you need. Um, the problem is he's his stats are really really bad. Like if you l look at his his uh like like sk skill wise, I don't think there is a more perfect monster. You know. But stat wise there's there's actually quite a lot of problems. Um Damn it, where the fuck did you go? Yeah, if you see the Evil 3 version of him, he has really really high HP but only has two hundred attack. Um obviously the Predator will add an extra forty percent to his attack, which is pretty good. Um it will kinda be like Actually, it'll kind of be like his attacks, like 2,800-ish. But the problem is, like, um, I'll also need to invest in a lot of uh, a lot of things to get him to Evil Three. If I don't get my Light Medusa, I think he's he's an okay candidate. I could possibly try him out. I mean, I don't really have any other things I need to gleam, so I I could definitely do it. Um, you know, that's just for Dragon Speed 10. But for Arena, he's he's a he's a like insane beast. He's super super strong. Um, it's just that unfortunately, unfortunately, he's tank type, so he doesn't have the the attack stat that you want. Um, but you know, he's a single target nuker, so he might be able to hit harder. Um, you know, he might be able to hit harder than the Fire Arthur. Possibly, I'm not. I'm not too sure about it. Um, you know, on a sing single target, he might be able to hit harder than the Fire Arthur's second skill. Um, but I'm not sure if he can. If he can hit harder than that Light Medusa, because she also has a skill that boosts her attack. Um, she has that Elemental Edge, which basically is like 50% extra damage against everything. Um, so so she's going to be hitting hitting the dragon um, pretty pretty damn hard, and also she has like that, that uh, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, she has like 2900 base attack. And she also has 10% extra crit rate, so it's she's pretty pretty sick. Um, but anyways, I think I'll, I'll what I what I'll do is I'll summon now. If I don't get her, I'll six star a random monster, um, just so I have something to farm with, something I I could potentially use, and then I'll I'll do that. Oh, I got a monkey. Maybe I should keep these. There's a there. Actually no, I can rebirth a sh I'm gonna rebirth a shit ton of them. Alright, I got a water, Leo. Damn it, where's my where's that variant Cupid? That I want so badly. I'm trying to get July's, like I really need July's right now. Alright, I got another another Yuki. I might be able to to raise my fire Yuki to six stars. She's my other uh, variant four star monster that I have. Um I'll, I guess I'll do one rebirth, because I that's really all I can do. Um And I'm gonna I'm gonna save everything else for after the the event. So I need the Julys, I don't need the Mihos, I don't need this Lat. Um, Alright, here we go. I'll get to 19 at most, and then I'll wait like 3 days before it ends. Like one on the last day before it ends, and then I'll I'll do the 20th um, Rebirth. If I don't get her, I might do a few more. I'm not sure how many I can do. Um, But yeah, I better hurry. There's there's only th three days left. I need to definitely want to collect a few monsters. Wait, I have I can summon I can almost summon three bonds from these. I should probably summon them now so I I don't forget about their existence. Um. Yeah, I should actually wait. No, even if I don't summon them, I'm I'm pretty sure I can farm a few. So it doesn't doesn't really affect me all that much. Um. So I should probably start working on on another potential monster um, 
if I if I do try to raise this Sora, I do have three Soras, like three other Soras I can use, and I don't think I have any fire or water gleams. It's unfortunate. I actually went with the wood gleams, so not too sure. It's gonna be like two more weeks. I mean, I do have some holy gleams, but I, I kind of don't want to waste those. Um, I should probably grab my gleam. Wait, let's do a variant summon. I can finally do a variant summon. I, s I finally saved 900 points for that guaranteed variant. So it might be a... Like, if I if I get a lightning on this, it's going to be a guaranteed 4-star variant, which is like the most amazing thing in the world. But it's probably going to turn out as a 3-star. I'm not too sure if this is worth it. I mean, it's like the other ones are guaranteed to not be variants. So I'm, I'm at the point where I'm trying to get variant 4-star, so I, I think I should definitely do it. Um... So fire, water, or grass. Probably water. There's there's a lot more better water monsters than anything else. If I get lightning on this, I'll be super excited. Nope, not happening. Oh, I got a Shelly as a variant. Wait, maybe maybe this thing has a square slot. Oh, this is a. This is. These are pretty good slots. I should. I should start saving my Shellies as well. Um, I should definitely lock this Shelly. And yeah, I'm gonna probably raise this Shelly because he's slightly better than the Wood Katito that I'm currently using. Um, they're both 100% armor breakers, but the Shelly has like slightly, slightly better nukes. I mean, they're both single target second skill nukes, but it doesn't matter because they, they're they only going to be using their first skill most of the time on the boss, um, and you just want to do a little bit more damage as possible. You just want to do as much damage as possible, so I I think I'll, I'll, I'll uh, if I collect enough Shellys, I'll get, get it to Evo 3 and raise it to 6 stars. But for now, we're going to look for a monster that I can, I can 6 star now. I was thinking this Fire Yuki, because I... I do have a lot of other Yukis that I can use. Um, I probably don't want to use Gleams on her. Um, so I'll probably just feed the other Yukis to her and then get her to Evil 2. And then eventually when I collect enough Yukis I'll get her to Evil 3 because she's not something I really need so it's going to be like a kind of a side project. Shit, I don't have enough mid fire stones. God damn it, I thought I had enough fire stones for all the elements. Can I can I only raise dark? Alright, it looks like I can't six star another monster in this video. Um Is it almost fire day? Wait, it's dark day, right? Tomorrow's fire day. Alright, I I guess I'll wait for tomorrow and then I'll raise some monsters up to five stars max level today. Um yeah, so the last thing I kind of wanted to show you guys is my my maxed out uh, wood wood miho, dark wood miho, and or not not wood miho. What the fuck was I talking about? Dark miho. I mean, um, in Golem's B10, and yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna run this comp. I think this comp is slightly better than using my Gatito because um, it's it's super stable. By the way, like there's there's just zero percent of chance of anyone dying at all because um, they, they, they do a lot of damage and they also have a lot of sustain because they're all aggressors basically I got aggression passive heal active heal you know tons of damage all dark full crit all the shit you need um, yeah so that's this is pretty good. I think she she definitely does do some decent damage. So if you guys happen to, to get one um, during the time when she was out, she's definitely a lot stronger now ever since they buffed the HP aggressors. The thing is HP aggressors still aren't as good as defense aggressors because of how, um, how healing works in this game because healing is like a flat amount. So it doesn't matter how much HP you have, like, it's easier to heal a, a defense aggressor to full HP um, versus an HP aggressor. 
But the, the good thing is, like, HP aggressors, um, if the enemy has armor break, is technically, I think if, if you do the math, it's technically better because um, armor break also now also affects the amount of um, bonus armor from your gems. It used to not, that's why defense aggressors were also a lot stronger because of that. Um, but I think the main thing is HP aggressors didn't used to do this much damage, but ever since they bu buffed HP aggression, um, I think she's definitely a pretty good monster now. Yeah, this is this is quite a lot of damage. It's pretty pretty fast. Um, I don't think I really need to use the Dark Cupid in in this comp. I don't think I really need his active heal, or maybe I do. I'm not sure. Maybe my C star could die. You never know. I mean, I think this comp could be slightly faster if I if I took him out um, and put in another. Put in my other Dark July with like built with like crit rate, you know, it would have been pretty sick. But then she wouldn't have her gems, so I need to like get another set for her. I mean, I think I think I can put together another set for her, but it it won't be as good because this is like a a ruin set, you know. Ruin sets are the best gems. Nothing sweeter than that crit damage. Best gems of the normal sets, you know, if you don't count the, the sets that you can get from dragons. Because those are those are pretty damn OP. You know, actually not using the actually we know Dark Sea Star has Damn, Dark Sea Star has a uh, has crit rate, which is actually pretty useful. I mean, I could use a Miho for resist leader, but I was thinking like next month once the Dark Monkey comes out, um, since the monkey has like AOE armor break, 100% chance I think to land. Um, he could be pretty good, because I could just use him. But I don't know what the monkey's leader skills are. Maybe some t type of dark type leader skill would be. Would be pretty useful. The monkey is basically a defense defense aggressor for a skill and then armor break on second skill. I'm not sure if it's AOE actually. Don't 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 quote me on that. Oh wait, he's not out yet. I can't I can't see him. Um, but I'll, I'll check one of the other monkeys to see if he's single target or what leader skills that they what leader skills they have. Oh dang, they have Fighting Spirit. I can use him, I can use the attack leader on him. Oh wait, it is out, wait, it's it's out? The, the, the monster itself is already in the Astro Guide? No, the monkey's not, not in the Astro Guide. Is he? He's not in the Astro Guide, but he's in... He's in the thing. His skill set is, is in the thing. Go full... Yeah, he's not in the Astro guy, but his his, uh, his skill set is in the thing. So I, I can't see his stats, but I can see his uh, his skills. So the monkeys have Fighting Spirit, which, which is actually the best leader skill. And... It's single target armor break, but it's still useful because armor break doesn't really matter against the the mobs. Like they they die really fast anyways. Like before they even get armor broken, so you're not like guaranteed to be able to armor break and nuke anyways. Um, and normally, if your team's like spamming AOE, they're they're already already dead, so it doesn't really matter. Um, all that really matters is armor breaking the boss, and he has 100% armor break for two turns. So um, yeah, it's definitely going to be pretty good, and this is going to be really good for my my Dark July as well. If I can get my second Dark July on crit rate, I think an ideal team would be like, uh, for me, if I want to use like a full Dark team, I could put the Monkey as leader, like Dark Monkey as leader, and then I'll I'll use um, two Dark Julys, one built with triple HP, the other built with uh, you know crit rate to like hit harder, and then. Um, you know, Dark Sea Star or something. Or maybe Dark Miho, I'm not too sure. I Probably Dark Sea Star, because I, I have the gems for her. 
And then my Dark Meat Host gems can go to my other other July. Um, but yeah, I think this is he's gonna be a pretty good monster. Uh, not not this one, but the the dark one. Dark, the dark one has actually some really decent stats. Like it's it's pretty good. He's he's defense type. Um, it's it's on Reddit. I don't know. I think someone data mined the the stuff. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it. That's that's all I got for for today. I uh, just wanted to make a video to to talk to you guys before I before I go back to farming. Um, I guess. Maybe I should just six star another dark miho. I mean, I can use her to farm, so it's not it's not that bad. Um, I don't need to use her now. I can use my I can actually use use her to farm. She actually hits pretty damn hard. Um, but if I I mean my my second dark uh, Mona. I mean I can I can six star a second dark Mona and just use her to like use these three and comp together to like power farm really fast. Um. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm, I'm going back to farming. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.